I'm not doing this one. What the hell was that? Dead end, nothing to grab. Alright, fine. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Full health. Approximately. Actually not quite, but you know. Doesn't do anything. Oh well. All done here. Give me the detonator. Gun him down. Gotcha. Hold it. Hold it. Gotcha. Sawed off shotgun? Heck yeah. Where's that at? You mean. I want it. Let me select it. Whoops. There we go. The door had been welded shut ages ago, and the bomb was missing a detonator. Mm -hmm. Beretta ammo full. Well, okay, then. Okay, fellas. The police are on their way. New York's finest. They're gonna be here. Whack! Yeah, just dive right at the dude's knees. What was that? It's nothing, really. Oh, there I go. Chapter 2, live from the crowd scene. I feel it. All done here. Give me the detonator. Get him! Ah! Ah! What the? Ah! Ah! This sucks to suck. Alright, I'm gonna go at those other guys with the whoops. Dual pistols. I feel like that's probably the best way to handle that situation, because I could get off more shots. And if I okay, well me aiming properly is probably Okay fellas, the police are on their way. New York's finest. Oh, I got a trophy for that. Look at me go. Alright, that was much better.
The bank robber's score lay on the table. Oh, there we go. We come to you now live from the crime scene. Who is this? Right back at you. This is Deputy Chief Jim Bravora from the NYPD. You are to cease your criminal activities and surrender immediately. Sure thing, Jim. Me and the boys have been talking and everyone's real sorry. They'll never do it again. Who the hell is this? Being placed at the scene of a bank robbery wouldn't have tipped the odds in my favor. <laughs> have been after Acer Corporation bonds. The Acer success story had recently been on every channel and on the cover of every magazine. That was it. Maybe I have to putz with the console. Alright, that's where I came from. Pick that up though so I can get the uh, ammo. The bank robbers had left their tools on the table. Judging by the detonators, the crooks had bought enough explosives to send Lady Liberty into orbit. Oh man. That's a lot of explosives. I imagine I have to make my way back to that welded door. Toes. Oh my god, it's Walter White. Max, Jesus, you almost gave me a heart attack. I nearly shot you. Alex, we're glad to see you. What the hell's going on? There are more corpses here than at the city morgue. It's an armed robbery. A tunnel job straight to the Roscoe Bank vault through the old station wall. Is this why... This is Lupino's gig? This is Lupino's doing? Lupino's men? Really? You sure know how to pick a place? Can you get through? No, it's locked. We gotta get out of here. If it's Lupino, it's... Oh, no. Alex? Alex! There was nothing I could do. He was dead. I could tell by the empty, accusing stare of his eyes. The empty, accusing stare of his eyes? Why would he be accusing you? Get him! Let's get the hell out of here!
Maybe I want to move this one first. I guess not. Alex had kept me relatively sane for the past three years. Now I didn't know how I felt. Somehow he had stumbled upon something big and ended up stepping on Jack Lupino's toes. Oh. Oh, chapter three. Finally. I feel like it was chapter two and then something for like ever. Lupino ran his racket of sex, drugs, and contract killings from a sleazy hotel in a slum block of tenements. The NYPD was closing in. I could hear the sirens. Their wail was a crescendo. Lupino thought he could get us by taking Alex out and leaving me to take the fall for it. All he had gotten was my attention. <laughs> I went for the hotel first. It was a sad old thing with flickering lamps and faded colors, cheap mobster punks and tired-eyed prostitutes. I walked straight in, playing at Bogart, like I'd done a hundred times before. The place was run by a couple of murdering mobsters with shark smiles. The Finito Brothers. Ladies and gentlemen, it's the pain in the butt. Painted a max. You're killing me. Did you make that up yourselves, you get some wine out downstairs to come up with it. <laughs> Don't answer that. A rhetorical question. I got something for the boss. Lupino around? That kind of depends on who's asking. A friend or a junk squad plan. The don't answer. It's one of them, uh, how do you put it, uh, rhetorical questions. Lupino ain't here, but he says bye. Lupino wasn't in his cheap hotel. Instead, I ran into the Finito brothers. My cover had been blown. The door slammed shut behind me. And then I was dodging bullets like raindrops. Pain in the butt. Painted a map. Joe Swap Cake. Got a ticket of Marble City for you. Eat first, then lying down. We did it. I didn't mean to switch to the pump action shotgun there. Although I was expecting them to take a little more damage since they I figured they were like a boss fight. A letter on the desk caught my eye. I had met Lupino only once. The gangster ran all his rackets through his right hand man, Vinny Gagnini. Gagnini was a high strung whiner on the verge of breaking apart, like an overamped energizer bunny. <laughs> he had the brains to run the business, but he lacked the balls, always falling short. Taking his frustration out on underage addicts and call girls. Oh no. The V deal goes down at your hotel. Jack's exact words. Quote, Vinny, you're in charge of this one. Unquote. Rico Muerte is coming to see you through. Rico Muerte. Wow. And everybody's gonna get dead. Goes double for you. Treat this guy real good. Anything he wants, you give him. Don't screw this up for your finito, finitos. A V deal meant added security, locked doors, and lots of nervous thugs with itchy trigger fingers. I'd seen nothing coming in, but that didn't mean it hadn't been there. Rico Muerte was a regular Kaiser Souza, a spook story told to keep the apes in line. <laughs> 313. The Finitos had scribbled Muerte's room number on the note's margin. Bosses! Everything all right? Oh. Bosses! Joey! Vigilio! You all right in there? They're not answering. Call the others. Tell them to come quick. Okay, but we can't wait for them. We gotta go in now. Bosses, we're coming in. It's pain. Oh! Oh! Oh, I thought they were only two of them. Guess I can't open that door. Oh. Oh. Got some painkillers in the cabinet, though. Nothing in there. Although I can stand in it, that's cool. Can I shut it? Grab 
friends. Oh, nice in the outside. Ugh. Without warning. I like how there's parts, chapters, and then like little subsections of these chapters. Whatever. I guess it, I guess it keeps the pace from feeling like it's dragging too much. You don't feel like you're in the same spot for too long. could go off without a warning. I had to be careful. Yeah, I'm just gonna get rid of that guy before he like freaks out. I guess I can't open any of those. No, shoot in the fire. Oh it does, that's cool. I'm gonna waste all of their power. Oh, nice. I demand sustenance. Oh, wait, I like came from there. I don't know. Yeah, because I shot that guy. Walk through here. 